Okay, now let me tell you something. I hope that my family does not watch this video. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm the librarian, and I came to read. Okay, so I had to put my booty on the counter for this one. I wanted to really get into this story and let y'all know what the tea. I haven't done one of these in a long time, and I figured, you know what? It's the end of the month. You know, the girls are winding down. Let me just give them something cute to kiki key key with. Now, let me tell you something. I went to college. I'm going to tell you the story about how I went to college and fucked up my fucking computer. And this shit is embarrassing as fuck. And I didn't even want to take it to the place to get fixed. It's so embarrassing. Let's fucking talk about it. The reason I want to tell this story is because I tweeted about this. So, my parents are Jamaican as hell, okay? My parents are Jamaican as hell. They wanted to send me to college fresh out of high school with the, in the cheapest way possible, and I understand that, okay? Because, you know, as, once I started paying bills, I, underst I understood why it was so necessary to find a way out of no way. Do you, do you see what the fuck I'm saying? As soon as Comcast started entering into my account, bitch, even if I approved it, I was like, okay, I understand. I understand now why my parents were trying to save as much money. You know, I thought money grew on trees when I was young. Okay, girl. <laughs> That's cute for you. But yeah, they wanted to send me to college in the most inexpensive way possible, completely understand it. And so instead of buying me like a laptop or whatever, they went ahead and just sent me to college with the desktop computer that was sitting in our family room. And I was like, okay, that's cute. You know, I'll just put it in my dorm. It's a desktop computer. You gotta bring them shits up and plug it up, plug it in, plug it in. You gotta put that big ass CPU. That's when them girls had that big ass CPU and that monitor says, oh girl. So I was getting my life. I was okay, it's like, okay, I got a computer. Even if it's not a laptop, I can still use it. I was, I was still grateful for that shit, you know? And so, you know, I I had this desktop computer in my little dorm room when I was a freshman in college. Oh my god! And uh, yeah, my, I was on this side, and my fucking fine ass roommate was on the other side. He was such a beautiful soul. Oh my god! Um, I'm so glad that I got him when I first got to college because we we were just like inseparable, and we still keep in touch. We were such good friends. It was so cute. But yeah, when when my roommate left the room, I knew what time it was. If my roommate left the room and it had been three or four days since since I was able to ejaculate, says, I'm going to go ahead and lock that door. You know, he's in class. I'm gonna go ahead and lock that door. In that time, I don't think nobody, was anybody watching porn on their phones? I don't know, sis. But let me tell you something. When he left that room to go to class or go to whatever girl he was seeing house or whatever the fuck, I whipped out my motherfucking dick and I started jacking. Bitch, you, you talking about jackhammer? Bitch, I started jacking, okay? And I was, I was going through the most, you <laughs> I was going through the motions, and I was using the desktop computer that I got from home, and I was, bitch, I was searching all types of fucking nasty shit on there. I, I sure in the fuck was. Oh, yes, ma'am, I sure in the fuck was. I mean, if my roommate had walked in, I, I mean, I locked that fucking door. Fuck that shit. But, I mean, it would have been a whole scene in that hole. Okay, because the computer was on, that monitor was on, my legs was spread, bitch. I was like, what's up? You know what I mean? So, bitch, I got my life a couple of times. There were, it was a bunch of times, and I had just got that fucking computer! <laughs> bitch, it's a bunch of times that I had pleasured myself. You know what I mean? And Miss Desktop Computer was really carrying me through it. So there was one particular day. I don't know, girl. I should have felt it in my spirit. I should. I don't know. I should have seen into the future. I should have asked Miss fucking Cleo what my cards are looking like because sis, this shit was scary as hell. Okay, so there was one time I, got, I was getting my fucking life. I don't know who I was beating this me to, but either way, a porn was on the screen and I was getting my fucking life, okay? And then I did what I had to do, and then all of a sudden, I'm talking about the screen went completely blank. I said, girl, no ma'am. <laughs> went completely blank on my ass, okay? And I tweeted about this shit, okay? The screen went blank and then it came back, bitch, a whole white screen with, a, I mean, text everywhere. I had to sit and read that shit. That whole said, this computer has been, I don't know what the fuck, I, I can't remember what it said exactly, but I'll, I'll paraphrase it, bitch. Y'all know how I do. This computer has been seen by the FBI for illegal activity. I read that, sh that first line, I was like, oh girl, are they talking about my illegal ass music downloads? I'm like, girl. But then I was thinking, I was like, girl, first of all, why would the FBI be, inter FBI be interested in my fucking, you know, MP3 ass downloads, bitch? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck y'all interested in my fucking line water built ass, you know, music collection, girl? The FBI ain't fucking with my ass on that shit. So I kept reading.
shit. This bitch, this fucking mess is gonna, and it blacked out my whole screen. So like, the only thing that I could do or see or interact with was the fucking message, so I couldn't exit out of it. Like, there was no way. I pressed control, all delete, type of tease, nothing, girl. Them, them girls said, so this is FBI, we seen, your, we seen what, the, what your ass been doing on this fucking computer. And I was like, okay, girl, what the fuck ever. And them hoes said, if you want your computer back, if you want your computer to be restored, I think the amount that they wanted me to pay was $400. I think. I can't remember, but it was some, it was some crazy ass number like that, like $400 fucking dollars. I was like, girl, who the fuck? First of all, who the fuck got four hundred dollars to be giving you hoes? Like, second of all, if I give y'all my fucking card information, I was just like, girl, I knew this shit was a virus, but I was like, girl, why the fuck was y'all even set it up like that? If it's a virus, why don't y'all just go straight to my fucking information that's in the fucking desktop? They probably did. <laughs> they probably did. But yeah, that shit was fucking crazy. So just to confirm it, I looked up. I think on my phone I looked up. I don't know why the fuck my ass was watching porn on a computer when I could have done that shit on my fucking. Could I have done it on my phone? What year was that? That was, that was 2013. I'm sure I could have done it on my fucking phone. That was 2013 I was a freshman. 20, 2013, I think? Yeah, I don't know why the fuck I was watching on my desktop, but either way, um, shit, it is what it is. I looked it up on my phone. Them girls said, girl, you got a fucking virus, girl. And I said, okay, bitch, how the fuck am I gonna solve this problem? Because my parents just gave me this fucking desktop computer, bitch. They just gave it to me to come to college and try to, y'all feel make something more to your life, you know what I mean? Like, I was terrified. I was terrified. Because I was like, okay, I have I have certain options. Let's go through them. The first option is take this bitch to the fucking computer, the computer place around here. And I was like, okay, what the fuck does that look like? Me loving a big ass CPU, cause I ain't got no motherfucking car. I gotta take what FSU buses and shit. I gotta take you know public transportation, lugging around a motherfucking CPU, trying to get to somebody's fucking computer place to fix this shit. Then when they when I explained to the computer place what's wrong, and I didn't go to no computer place to get this shit fixed. You you got me fucked up. Then then hypothetically, when I would have taken my ass to the computer place, they would be like, okay, girl. So what's wrong? What the fuck? Tell them, girl, I clicked the link and this, this fucking shit took over my computer. I guess I could have told them, but bitch, when they search in that shit, when they look through this shit, they're gonna see my gay ass porn. They're gonna see what I've been checking off to. <laughs> oh no, man. I was like, girl, this is not the fucking team. I was like, this is not the fucking team. Because them girls, they gonna see what the fuck I've been doing. Them girls, bitch, you been going to men.com, girl, your ass? I, I know Pornhub didn't exist, I don't think. Your ass going to Pornhub.com? What's going on here? And I was just so terrified. I was like, dude, I did not want anyone to see what the cause was for that fucking virus. So I was like, okay, so that's out of the question. The only option was to finesse like I was always finessing throughout my fucking childhood. A gay ass nigga in a homophobic ass household girl, they gon' they gonna learn how to finesse, okay? They're gonna learn how to lie, they're gonna learn how to cheat their way out of shit. That I mean that it is what it is, it's survival at that point. So I, there was no other option but to just say, okay, girl, we're gonna have to just get a new computer. I don't know how we're gonna do it with, with my broke freshman in college built ass, but we're gonna have to find a fucking way. And the only way was through my fucking parents. They was the ones with the money at the time, girl, so I had to figure out a way to get them to do it. And I was like, you know what? what what I'm going to do is hold off. I'm gonna wait a minute. <laughs> Cause I didn't want it to be so soon that I needed a computer. So I waited a little minute, but at the same time, I still needed to do assignments and shit. So I didn't wait that long before I made that phone call and I said, hey sis, you know, I don't, I can't remember what I told them. But I think, I think I may have told them cause, cause the desktop computer was old already as it is. I don't know if I told them that like it broke down and it's, it, it won't turn on or anything. I don't know what I told them. I don't know if I told them that I got a virus. It's completely unusable. It's done. I don't know what I told him, but whatever I told him worked because, you know, within no time, I had, the, I got my first laptop ever, okay? I was able to take my ass to that annoying ass biology class and take fucking notes. I was able, you know what I mean? I was able to get some shit done. I was able to take that laptop and fucking go to different classes and shit get my life. Do you think that my ass was dabbling in gay porn on that laptop? Hell in the fuck no. I but no, I think, you know, I may have switched to my phone because I don't know what the fuck. I was, I, I guess I just was so inexperienced with everything. I, I guess I wanted the, the whole view, like a big ass view. Girl, if you don't watch porn on your phone, let me tell you something. 
If there ain't any fucking freshmen in college right now, you have your parents' old ass computer in the dorm room, sis. Don't do like I did, especially, you know, back then. Them hoes didn't have no type of protection on their computer like that. Girl, get out of here, bitch. Don't do like me. Please watch the porn on your phone. Watch the porn on your phone. I'm talking about the whole screen was blacked out, sis. I'm talking about them hoes wouldn't let me even click shut down. They wouldn't even let me click shut down. I had to plug that hoe out. And that's the thing, bitch. I plugged the bitch out. And I was like, okay, bitch, she's reset. No, the fuck she wasn't. Girl, she, I plugged that hoe out. And I plugged her back in, bitch. I thought I did a hard reset on that shit, bitch. No, I was the one who was hard. And the fucking computer needed to be reset, bitch. She needed to be thrown the fuck out. Not reset, but bitch, recycle, ho. I plugged it out. I plugged it back in. The shit gonna stay the same shit. I was like, okay, girl, we fucked. At this point, we fucked. And I was so lucky I wasn't working on no big ass assignment or no, you know what I mean? Little 10 page ass paper that was stuck in. I would have been mad. Oh, I would have been mad. Oh, I would have been mad. Imagine working on this 10 page ass paper or a fucking long ass, you know, assignment. And they used to take a break to watch some porn and then you, it come back, the fucking computer gone. Girl, no man, I'm glad I wasn't working on shit. I'm glad I, I had my fucking handy dandy USB drive. Oh, bitch, I was such a nerd with that shit. Save it on my USB drive. So I had backups of everything, but that, that experience was not fun. That experience was not fun, but shit, I got a new laptop out of that hole, and that's all I can say on that. And I got my nut at the same time, too, so it's just like, girl, that's fine. You took the computer, but you can't take my joy, nor can you take my ejaculation, girl. Kiss my ass. <laughs> But I tweeted about this earlier and I wanted to make a full full fucking video about it. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this. I would love to hear some stories from you guys that are similar to this one because I know you have them. I know you have them. Stop fronting. I know you have them. But yeah, that just goes to show if you don't have antivirus on your computer, sis, just, just watch the porn on your phone, okay? Don't click no links. Have a good goddamn evening.